This video is for you if you're like, look, I've used all the keywords, I've used the metadata, I'm using the SEO plugins, but like, why am I not showing up in Google search? My name's Jess, and if you're new here, one of my favorite things to talk about on this channel is consistency. It's important for design, but it's also important just in general business. And I have definitely learned the value of consistency in the last week because we got our first foster child, and consistency is super important for kids. I actually want to show you something that I made our foster child just earlier today. This is a visual schedule I made of her day because it's pretty consistent and this way she can actually see it and know what to expect and it really helps decrease her anxiety. And I know you might be wondering what consistency has to do with Google search. I'm getting there. Well, consistency actually has a lot to do with Google search because Google loves fresh content. Let's say for example that someone starts a brand new blog and they are going to focus strictly on the best pizza in Chicago. They get set up, they start blogging, they write one post a month for three months, they get busy, take like six months off from blogging, and then start blogging again and they're like, I wonder how high I'm ranking on Google. So they do some investigating and they're not ranking. Now this is obviously hypothetical. There's a chance they could actually rank their website, but in this scenario we're going to pretend that they don't. Well I mean why would they rank? They aren't consistently posting so there's no reason for Google to find that this site is actually valuable and should be shown to more people. Imagine if a restaurant was only open for one day a month for three months then closed for six months then started opening one day a month again. Would you go? Would you even recommend it to friends? But it's not just the consistency of content that matters. You also need to consistently drive traffic to your website. So if we go back to the restaurant example, you can buy a space, get some tables, some great food, but if you don't have a sign out front so people know what's inside, if you don't have a website or social media presence, if you aren't listed online or in a phone book, how is anybody going to know that they can come visit you? And if you're an online entrepreneur like me, there are tons of ways to promote our business and our content online for free. We don't even have to buy ads. So again, if you have done all the SEO things with the keywords and the plugins, but you don't have content and you're not driving traffic, that's a pretty good indicator of why you're not showing up in Google search. And the great news is that it does not have to be a daily blog by any means. Absolutely not. Even just once a week or at the very least every other week, that's going to help drive traffic to your website. If you want to learn more about SEO and improving your website, I have a bunch of videos over here for you. Make sure you check those out. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.